Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video on drawing 2D and 3D chemical structures. Today I am going to show you how to draw some common drug molecules using ChemSketch. We will be drawing aspirin, paracetamol, ibuprofen, caffeine, aterostatin and amoxicillin. If you are not familiar with the ChemSketch interface, I recommend watching my previous video where I covered the basics of ChemSketch. The link is in the description below. Let's get started. First up is aspirin, also known as acetyl salicylic acid. Aspirin is widely used for its pain relieving and anti inflammatory properties. Interestingly, it's also used in low doses to reduce the risk of heart attack. If you look at the structure of aspirin, it's having some important functional groups. We'll first draw the core structure. Benzene is the core part in this structure. So we start by drawing the benzene ring first. Then we had add two functional group. We'll be adding the carboxylic acid at one position and acetyl group at the another position. Let's see the demonstration of this. Next we have paracetamol also known as acetamiphen. It's one of the most commonly used pain relievers and fever reducers. We'll draw a benzene ring first then add the hydroxyl group and amide group corresponding positions. Now let's move on to ibuprofen, a well-known non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug molecule. It's used to reduce fever and treat pain or inflammation. Ibuprofen was first marketed as brufen and is considered one of the safest non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug molecule. First we'll draw the benzene ring. Then we'll add the isobutyl group at the corresponding position and the propionic acid group at the corresponding position. So let me demonstrate this.
So ibuprofen is completed. Next is caffeine, a stimulant that most of us are quite familiar with. It's found in coffee, tea and various energy drinks. Caffeine is the world's most widely consumed psychoactive drug. So for drawing this caffeine, first we will draw the six membered ring and we will replace the two carbon atom with nitrogen and we will add a substitution in those nitrogen with a methyl group and we will add two carbonyl groups at two carbon atom in the six membered ring. So once if we completed the six membered ring, then we will move on to attaching a five membered ring. We will replace the two carbons with the two nitrogen in the five membered ring and we will also attach uh, the methyl group at the needed position. Let me demonstrate how to draw this. And finally, we got the caffeine. Moving on to atorvastatin, having slightly complex structure. Atorvastatin is a statin medication used to prevent cardiovascular diseases and treat abnormal lipid levels. It works by inhibiting an enzyme involved in cholesterol synthesis. So it's having many functional groups. We will start with drawing the pyrrole ring because that is the base for this structure. To this ring, we will attach a phenyl group, the benzene ring and a fluorophenyl group, C6H4F. Next, we will add another phenyl ring with hydroxyl group, then attach the heptanoic acid chain with hydroxyl group at position 5 and 6 and a carboxyl group at, uh, at the end. Finally, we will add the methyl group to the appropriate position on the pyrrole ring. Let me demonstrate how to draw this structure.
and here we got atterverse starting it is ready and finally we have amoxicillin amoxicillin is also having slightly complicated structure amoxicillin uh, penicillin antibiotic used to treat a variety of bacterial infections it's one of the most commonly used to prescribe antibiotics for children so for drawing the amoxicillin we'll start by drawing the beta lactam ring because that is the core structure in this drug molecule then we will add the thiazolidin ring and the phenyl group the hydroxyl group and finally the amino group let me demonstrate how to draw this uh, amoxicillin structure
and amoxicillin is done and there you have it we have successfully drawn six common drug molecules using chemsketch i hope you found this tutorial helpful and interesting if you did please sub subscribe to the channel leave your comments if you have any questions and hit the bell icon to get notified about my upcoming videos thanks for watching and see you next time